I'm Markus Winterberg. I'm originally from Germany and then moved to Australia for postdoc. And as it is in science, it stays on a bit longer. So after seven years, moved on to Thailand to work with Moru. And I'm now the head of the lab for the clinical pharmacology. My main research focus is um, proteomics and metabolomics. So I'm looking in the proteomics on molecules that I can use to identify a disease in a patient. So a very common thing in the field is you have a patient that reports in a hospital with fever. And a big problem there is to then know what the patient actually has. And one, one thing that is commonly done then is just give an antibiotic, which if it's a viral infection, won't do anything. So we use uh, mass spectrometry to look for molecules in a sample of a patient that we then can use to tell the GP later this patient had disease XYZ. So what we would like to do with these molecules later is develop a rapid test. So something like a pregnancy test where we will be able to just use a little bit of a urine sample with a dipstick and to tell a clear yes, no answer if the patient has the disease or not. And it, you won't need a fancy laboratory, you don't need fancy equipment, you don't usually even need a trained person, a lay person can do it because it's a clear yes, no and a very simple process. For the rapid test, we currently work on scrub typhus. It's a zoonotic disease. It's transmitted by little shiga mites. And the actual pathogen is uh, Orientia. It's a tiny intracellular bacteria. And it's commonly found in places where people um, work in fields. So scrub, like the scrubs in the field. And these little mites live in, in eschars on the skin and then transmit the disease um, with the saliva and, and this disease is one of the common ones like dengue, typhi, uh, murin typhus. If the patient has a fever and it turns out to be scrub typhus, it's a simple cause of antibiotic treatment and the patient is cleared of the disease. How, how far away are you from developing a rapid test of scrub typhus? So we have identified uh, one peptide that is found in the patient urine and we're currently evaluating at what stage of the um, infection it appears in the urine. And once that is done, we will look into antibody uh, productions and see if we can get a first example of a simple um, readout test with that. The other thing we're working on is malaria. So um, because of the laboratory we're working in, we have almost 70 or 80,000 patient samples from clinical trials and they're all against antimalarials. So we have samples of different time courses with different antimalarials. And what we're trying now is to look for a marker that can be used in the plasma to determine whether someone has malaria or not. So once we have the rapid test established, um, the, because the treatment, for example, for scrub typhus is very simple, it's a simple antibiotic course um, that will definitely have a great impact on the affected populations because you can easily detect if someone has scrub typhus or not. Why does your line of work matter and why should we fund it? Lots of research is done on how you treat a disease, but I think it's also very important to know what the disease actually is so you can treat it properly. So it is really important that you have a test or a way of telling that a patient has a certain disease. So the research finally will provide better tools for clinicians and especially in rural settings to correctly diagnose a patient. Tell me a little bit about the benefits of working at Moru. So coming from a basic biology background, you always, well, you often only know the disease from looking in a microscope in a petri dish and that's how you know the disease. But working here is actually working in the hotspot where it happens. So you get to see the patients, you get to see the actual disease and the actual pathogens in a patient sample. And that's something that you normally don't get when you work in an isolated laboratory somewhere looking down your microscope. If you had a simple message, one, one or two sentences to say to people about, about, uh, about what you do, what would it be? You can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you may find you get what you need. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.